Alright man, I'm doing this at work. I shouldn't even be doing this blog, but I don't care how I don't care about the background. I'm at work, I don't give a damn, but I gotta do these predictions real quick because it's interesting. You know, salute to URL. You know, they they've been having kind of a funky year, you know, they haven't really been dropping battles that we really wanted to see, but salute to Chrome twenty three and uh of course RBE, you know what I mean? Fantastic job this year, especially RBE. They really been giving battles that we've been wanting to see. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the channel. This is the control room. I'm DOA. Let's get straight to it. All right, let's get to it. So we got Murder Mook, man, and um, Dan. New Jersey twerk. I got to give my honest opinion. This is a battle I didn't really want to see. I think this battle is only happening because Sue Surf is locked up, free to wave. It was supposed to have been Mook and Sue Surf, but twerk is, is, is I think he deserves Mook, of course. Um, we all know that Mook is basically the end game. You know what I mean? He's the face face of battle rap, whether people like it or not. I had him losing against Big K, but I am a Mook fan, but he definitely lost against Big K, I'm sorry. It is what it is. However, his week is interesting. Even though he lost to Big K, no one's talking about it. It's not a big deal if Mook loses to someone. It's proven, because he's the GOAT. Mook is by far, if not, the, the GOAT. Even though there's another battle rapper that's on, that's on the rise, and they've seen G Ty. Chopping go. You look out for that young, that young gunner. Remember, remember you heard it from me. C and G tie, aka Chopping Go. But let's get back to the Murder Mook versus New Jersey Twerk. If Mook, first of all, it's gonna be in New York. You know, uh, Mook is like, like he can't lose in New York. And I don't mean like he's invincible. He cannot, if Mook loses in New York, if he loses in New York, you he'll never hear the end of it. So he's definitely gonna be on his A game. We're not really worried about Mook, whether he shows up and do his thing. Mook is gonna show up, he never chokes. This boils down to chirp, uh, to twerk. Is is twerk gonna show up, play with him, play with pause? If he, is he gonna take Mook seriously? I saw the interview with Hip Hop is real. New Jersey twerk is very disrespectful though. Know, he he gives no, he has no respect for Murder Mook. And that's the problem. I think if you're going into this battle with Mook, I think you're just gonna walk all over him. Cause I know Twerk has said something about, well, this is not it, this is nowadays, and you're holding on to the old Mook with the dot in your head, dot in your face, dot in. And we haven't heard that Mook in years. So I don't know what that was about. He went too far back. Um New Jersey twerk, but I do believe New Jersey twerk is definitely what today's fans are into. They they like New Jersey twerk. Whether he chokes, whether he loses, they always ride with him. You know what I mean? Um, he has a cult following. They love New Jersey twerk. So it's all about who's gonna be, and, and you know who's like you know Mook got his fans, New Jersey twerk got his fans. But I'm gonna tell you. I don't think Twerk's ever been in front of someone like Mook. You know, um, it's hard to it's hard to predict, but I got I got Mook two one on this one. But Mook really gotta like Twerk is gonna be Twerk. You know, he's gonna jump around. I'm locked in. He's gonna do all the you know momentarily off the top bars. He's gonna do all that. But Mook gotta really. Take it to a level where New Jersey twerk has never been before. Like I said, I got Mook winning, but Mook really got to take it there in order to win. He can't be like regular and just say I'm, you know. But I do know he bat Mook does battle people according to who he's, you know, his boss is according to who he's battling. So don't expect him to be like the guy that battled Geechee. Twerk, if he chokes, it's over. It's a wrap. Mook's gonna rebuttal. He's gonna, it's gonna, be, it's gonna get really nasty. All right, so I got Mook 2-1 on that. John John the Dawn. 
and um, what is it? Easy to block happening. John John has something to prove because he, you know, people always throwing that in his face about the uh, the surf battle, even though that was a while ago. But then people never really got over that loss. So John John got a lot to prove going into this battle. Um, he got to step it up too. He got to really be a little bit more aggressive. He got to talk about things that. You know, uh, I don't know. I, I can't really, because, you know, John John, he's, he's bar heavy, but he really got to be the, what they call him, like the PG killer. And I guess compared to, I guess Easy Block compared to John John, I guess, you know, John John's a veteran. And I think it was Hip Hop was real interview when John John was talking about why would uh, Easy to Block be on the A side? Because <clears throat> he don't have the credentials that he has as far as John John's concerned. So that's telling me he's going to be on this PG killer type type of flow. Easy to block, however, just took a, took a loss against Geechee. It wasn't a bad loss, but that battle was probably the, the, the first official loss that Easy to block lost, like, like he's ever had. Like, there's no denying the fact that he really lost that battle, right? He ain't no debating that. I mean, shit, they was playing Geechee shit on Hot 97. Like, come on, what we doing? But he has something to prove. You know what I mean? Because nobody really cares about the Remy, the Remy Ma rumors with him and Remy and that shit. Him and uh, Fat Joe and, and, and Pat Poos and Remy just just did a blog the other day during Halloween. Like, that's that ship has sailed. Nobody cares about that no more. So, now easy to block. He got to have a different angle now. It can't be... Like, I'm the hottest dude now, I'm this and that. Geechee done killed that. Regardless of Easy, don't, even though he, he, he got Tasha K talking about him, he done went viral, but that shit gonna last about two, three weeks and then it's over with, you know what I mean? So he got a really, he got something to prove too. So my predictions on John, John, John and Don and uh, Easy to Block, I got Easy to Block 2-1. You know what I'm saying? Because I think Easy is uh, he's what what people want to hear. He's he's current, he's on fire, and he's more active. And um, he's in a mix. You know what I'm saying? So that's my predictions, real quick, man. Deal we at the control room. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel. All right, salute the verbal war zone. Hit this battle lead. You feel what I'm saying? Boy, you to death. Remember the control room is the movement. New York Piffy, my man D Rock. I right, and I'm out. Salute.